There is the picture quality. Definitely not too bad, can't complain. But it instantly synced up, absolutely no syncing process. Look at that, I can really zoom in. <laughs> All right, so today we're back with something that I've made a few videos on, but it's always interesting to see the new features coming to different baby monitors. So special thanks to this company who was nice enough to send me this baby monitor that includes a five inch high definition display. So I don't believe this goes on your Wi-Fi or anything. I'm not 100% certain yet as I haven't got to open it, but we'll go through the unboxing process and see everything that comes inside of this box. And then we'll go through any setup and pairing process so that you can see exactly how you would use this baby monitor. So click like, click subscribe, and now let's check out this baby monitor and see exactly what it can do. All right, so five inch, high definition, focus on video monitor. You can see we have a model number of BM06C, a pan and tilt monitor at the top. The side shows it's a pan and tilt monitor, the HD sensor, alarm clock, intercom, and more. Nice little picture on the back. And then it also has a screensaver, cradle songs, infrared night vision, and temperature detection. So, anything, yeah, nothing on the bottom. So let's open this on up and take a look at it here. I like when things come wrapped in plastic because that tells me I'm really getting something new. Not been opened and messed with. Let's take a look at the top. What do we have here? Look at that. Can't beat that. All slides out in one piece. That's it for the box. So is this like a stand or what was this at the bottom here? Oh yeah, so this looks like you can screw this uh, on to the camera and can like wrap this around a bed frame or something. Nice and easy setup. Here's a uh, user's manual like that. The included power cable, so it's not USB. Just plugs right in with a micro USB port, but uh, not a USB cable. Then here's another one. So you get two of those, one for the camera and one for the tablet. Okay, what else we got down in here? We've got a wall mount. So this is another way that you could mount the camera. You got your screws and then you can just screw in this plate and screw the camera onto here. You'd be much better off using this one, I think. Then we have the actual camera itself. Wow, very nice feeling. So there's a pair button on the front and then on the bottom, you can see, the very bottom you can see where this would like screw into. And that's your port for power. Pull this on off. Now one thing this won't have is a micro SD card slot or anything like that, because it's just a baby monitor. It's not recording anything for you. So um, it's just for monitoring, of course. And then lastly down in here, yep, that's it for that, is, look at that, it even has a little Wow, that's pretty amazing. So this is the actual monitor. Got your nice antenna right there, a wrist strap there, and the charging port on the side. All right, I like this. And yes, this has a protective film over it. So very, very nice. And I love the sleek design. Everything has that like glossy white look to it. Looks very, very nice. All right, so I guess let's uh, let's figure out what exactly goes to what, and let's get these items charged up and powered on and show you what they look like. All right, so we've got our power on here. Let's plug in our camera. Plug it in here. Now, let's see, look, look at that. All right, well, there we go. That is, uh, that's the camera. So if I click this button, I get a few more options like the volume and stuff. It just switches over to up and down. And there is the picture quality. Definitely not too bad, can't complain. But it instantly synced up, absolutely no syncing process. Look at that, I can really zoom in. <laughs> and then here's even some more little settings and things. Wow, you can set reminders for timers. There's the uh, brightness, you can turn that up or down. The uh, cry detection. And then even here some more settings. Wow, so that should essentially do it. This is uh, the video quality that you get here. Now you can see with me talking, there's actually a little indicator light here that you may not be noticing. So that's pretty cool. There doesn't seem to be, oh, there is, so you just hold it. 
Okay, I was about to say you can't pan and tilt around, but as long as you don't have anything selected, you can just move over. And then if you want to zoom, you can zoom in on the uh, Happy Dad box here. Look at that. <laughs> wow, so very easy interface. Literally, you just click these buttons on the side, the up, down, left, and right. That's your main functions. And uh, if you're going into any of these other menus, you click them and you're able to change settings there as well. Very, very nice, simple setup. I, I really like it. Can't say enough good things about it. And the picture is great for monitoring a little one. Perfect for that. All right, so that will do it for this baby monitor. Now, as you saw in my setup, I had powered on this before even powering on this, but they were instantly paired together and worked with no problems at all. As I mentioned, this has no SD card. It does not connect to the Wi-Fi in your house. These two are permanently tied together from the software, and you're just able to monitor your child from wherever you are around your house, as long as the tablet and the camera can communicate through their proprietary connection that's not using your Wi-Fi, as I mentioned. A lot of people find that a big deal. It's kind of whatever to me. Uh, a lot of people like the baby monitors that are not on Wi-Fi, and this is one of them. So I'll, of course, have this exact one linked down below if you'd like one of these for yourself. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, and thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Deuces.